What's up, guys? It's Candace Cruz for Red Carpet Report, and I'm at a special screening of the season three finale of The Handmaid's Tale. Jackson? Oh, yeah. Monty Jackson. Oh, very nice, and I love the eyeliner, too. It's beautiful. Well, this is quite a tale, to say the least, obviously. Um, what has it been like being an actor telling this type of story that has literally made waves? I know you've talked about it a lot, but I feel like it's a conversation that just really can't end, you know? 100%. I mean, this is, we are, again, art is reflecting life right now, and it is a conversation. Everything's super relevant. I mean, when we were shooting the finale of this event, a lot of you know, the bills were passing in regards to things like abortion in, in, you know, Alabama. And so it's so relevant. The conversation is so important. And it, was, it gave us, when I went to set on those days when I was hearing about all of this happening, it really just gave me so much more motivation to cry with women dressing up in handmade outfits in protests. I said, wow, this is such a responsibility that I feel so grateful to have and such an important conversation to spark. I mean, even in season two, there were, you know, things that they would say about, well, we, we saw it happening, but we didn't do anything. And I feel like that's kind of where we're at right now is what are we going to do? What action are we going to take before things get to a crazy place, right? Well, they already are. But. And we're constantly building backstories for all these women and for all these characters. Did you create a backstory for your character going into this show? Did you have any motivation? Because obviously we're seeing them at their lowest after Gilead is at its height. So have you built a backstory? Have they given you a backstory? Um, they haven't given me one, but I've created my own 100%. I mean, I think that's the most fun in being an actor is you get to create this person that isn't you and, and live an experience with someone else. So I know where she worked. I know who she dated. I know who she loved, who Beth loved. And, and then that, to me, fills in the color book of who she is. And then I can bring her to life. So 100%, that's one of my most favorite parts of the process. Have you seen this? finale yet? I haven't. Ooh, I have and I was in tears and emotional and you all did a fantastic job because it's so God, it literally like made me think of history books. That's what's so scary is history repeating itself. A hundred percent. I'm glad that it opened your heart. And uh, I think that's what we're here to do is open people's hearts and get them to be conscious and aware. And so they can take action in our, their own lives to make sure that we have a world filled with equality for women and men and all humans of all shapes and sizes. So I'm glad that it moved you and I'm so excited to see it. You're going to love every minute of it. So congratulations. Thank you. Nice Thank you. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below and let me know your predictions for season four. Andre's eye.